Hey, what's up Blender Artists, I am Jonathan and today's video is gonna be a bit different because it won't be a tutorial but a video about tutorial channels and if you might become the next big tutorial maker. Don't worry, I won't stop making tutorials, this is just a video I wanted to make for a long time. So expect a new tutorial next week. Oh, and watch the whole video because I have a little thing prepared for you at the end. And if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing because I upload a new video every Saturday. So, now that I created tutorials for the last few months, I wanted to share my opinion on tutorial channels, if they are worth it and if you should consider starting one. I also asked some more established Blender YouTubers for their opinion, to not only limit this video to my point of view, and we even got- Wait a minute, what am I doing here? I'm not Jonathan and this isn't my tutorial channel, but I still have some pros and cons that may be useful for you. And since I'm a pretty negative person, I think I'm gonna start off with the cons. So the first con and probably the biggest con of making tutorials is that there is very little reward. Most people will not watch it and you're not gonna make much ad revenue or get any kind of reward at all. So don't expect this to be a reliable way to make money because it totally, totally isn't unless you made it big time like Blender Guru. And it's gonna take a while to grow any kind of follow following because the whole thing kind of seems personality driven, at least to me. Another con is that after a while you actually run out of tutorial ideas if you're making them consistently, which kind of forces you to make things just for tutorials, even if you're not using it yourself, especially if you're on that daily tutorial grind, which I would not recommend. So yeah, that's a lot of negative stuff about making tutorials, but there also happen to be some pros. And the first one is that it actually forces you to come up with new ideas. I kind of said that as a con, but I'm just going to flip it and also call it a pro. So you're always kind of innovating and coming up with new techniques just so you can share it in a quick tutorial. Also, making tutorials is probably the best way to gain clout in the Blender community if that is something you care about. It's somewhat fun to do, at least I think so, although editing can turn into a lot of work if you make hyper-edited tutorials, so I would recommend just practicing what you're gonna say and then just doing it. And another pro of making tutorials is that after a while you should start seeing comments of people saying, wow, that was very useful and you'll start to feel good about yourself. Of course, there are also horrible comments, so after a while you try to stop reading them, maybe. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you. Back to you, Jonathan. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, CG Meta. These are some great points and I can definitely agree on all of them. But there are still some things left over I want to talk about. And as I already said, I've asked some other YouTubers for their opinion. So I will use their point of view to conclude everything and give you guys my final statement. Okay, community-wise, yes you should immediately start a tutorial channel. Especially in the Blender community, there are so many people who support you and have your back. It's one of the friendliest communities I've ever come across. Also, the other big and small YouTubers are totally open to talk to as far as I experienced it. From all the Blenderers I've asked, everyone told me the same about money. It's not enough to be your full income, so you will have to have a different job or side business. Ducky3D pointed out that you not only have to be creative, but also business-minded to make a living from that. He, for example, runs a Patreon, as well as sells his own products and project files on Gumroad. Another way to make money is through sponsorships. And I've seen a lot of different YouTubers in my niche getting sponsored by big brands like Skillshare and others. One thing that I experienced and what Curtis Holt also told me is that focusing on views and through that getting pushed in one corner, which for me was Monteflow, is not necessarily the best way. It gives you a head start, but you can soon struggle with finding new ideas and keeping the clicks on the amount you're used to. But in contrast to all the money you can earn with your YouTube channel, you should also keep in mind that tutorials can act as a portfolio. When you consider this thought of Grant Abbott, views quickly become irrelevant and you can live your creative life and maybe make some money on the side. So should you start creating tutorials? The main questions for me were firstly, can I teach? Which means do I know the software and what I'm doing? And also can I form my thoughts into a video format? Secondly, can I deal with criticism? This is really important because you will have to show your community that you can accept criticism and also grow based on their feedback. This shows your engagement and your ability to adapt. And lastly, do I care about helping people or about the money? This one is one of the most crucial points, because your audience always comes first. You can only make money by helping someone or, for example, making videos for a thing which isn't particularly well known. 
you have to somehow stand out through your personality or through what you do. Because I can't tell you everything I've learned from these awesome people in this video, I summed everything up in the video description so you can read through that to even learn a little bit more. And if you now think you should start a tutorial channel and educating others, you might want to check out Andrew Price's video about great tutorials. I hoped you liked this video and if you did, consider subscribing as well as checking out all of the channels linked below. And with that said and done, we will see us next Saturday. Oh, I almost forgot about the thing I told you at the start. So, I updated my design shapes add-on. You can now play around with two new features, but I will probably make another video about them in the near future. Okay, that's all. Bye.